Excellency, uh, Chancellor Carlos Franza, distinguished uh, colleagues, friends of the media. Let me begin my press statement by first of all expressing to you, Chancellor Franza, and to your team, uh, my most sincere gratitude for hosting us uh, at the 8th India-Brazil Joint Commission meeting. The two of us met, I think, for the first time when President Bolsonaro came to India. And in a way, it was a very appropriate time for us to meet because the period since his visit has really been a period of transformation of India-Brazil India relations. Uh, even during the uh, era of the COVID, when uh, it was not so easy to communicate with colleagues, uh, we were uh, able to stay in touch. Uh, we last met in person in Bali uh, during the G20, uh, and I'm really so glad that I could uh, catch up with you today. I'm very privileged to visit Brazil. Uh, it is my first visit. Uh, when both of our countries are actually celebrating historic milestones, Brazil, the 200th year of its independence, India, the 75th year of its independence. So on behalf of the government and people of India, I convey my best wishes to the government and people of Brazil. This morning, before we began our meeting, I had the honor of being received by His Excellency the President. And uh, I recalled to him how much of a difference his visit had made uh, to our strategic partnership. Uh, today, a lot of our discussions uh, were the outcomes of the guidance and the vision that President Bolsonaro and Prime Minister Modi had together uh, expressed in 2020. Our deliberations covered trade and investment, sustainable development, cooperation uh, on energy, uh, particularly on biofuels, uh, on agriculture and livestock, on health and traditional medicine, science, technology, defense, counterterrorism, and consular affairs. We also exchanged views on some of the uh, important uh, issues in world affairs, uh, including the, uh, the consequences of the conflict in Ukraine, uh, the state of uh, uh, multilateralism, and our cooperation uh, in the BRICS. I'm really happy to note that uh, in the last few years, there's been a very discernible progress in our bilateral cooperation. It is visible in our trade going to its higher, highest ever level. We have crossed a turnover of $12 billion. It is also visible in new investments, investments made both by the Indian private sector as well as by our state-owned companies in a very wide range of areas. The agreements that we signed today, Minister, I think would contribute further uh, to our economic cooperation. India and Brazil are the two largest democracies in the world. We have a small to, to uh, not only our own well-being, but also the reform of multilateral institutions to find solutions to environmental challenges to ensure sustainable growth and development, to combat interest and promoting energy and regional and global stability. In fact, when we speak of a strategic partnership, uh, I would like to underline really how important Brazil is for India's energy security, their food security, how much we value our political uh, discussions and our ability to grow in a I would also like to express my particular thanks to the government of Brazil for the special economic stamp that we both emphasized. Uh, it must take us 
Uh, and I'm very confident that the joint commission we did today would help to carry forward uh, our mandatory strategic partnership. Once again, uh, Chancellor Council, thank you very much for your hospitality, for your warmth, and your reception. Uh, I'm truly optimistic about the future of our relationship, and I believe uh, that today, in some maybe more than small way, we have a new Thank you.